Hello everyone, my name is Miss Yvonne and today we're going to do a steam challenge about... Can you have a guess? Yes, that's right. We're going to do a steam challenge about bridges. So if you're interested, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, let me first tell you what you will need for this challenge. So you can try to find as many materials as you can find at home, but I will show you what I have here. I have some very beautiful pipe cleaners, very Halloween, -y. some Q-tips, the popsicle stick or just sticks or chopsticks in general, some straws, clothes pins, pair of scissors, and tape. And of course, some candies. So remember, the challenge we're doing today is to see how many candies you can hold on the bridge. So you want to make a bridge that is strong enough to hold as many candies as you can, all right? Okay, that's everything you'll need. Let me first tell you some of the basic knowledge about bridges, all right? And let's see. So what is a bridge? Many of us use bridges every day. We use them to cross rivers, valleys, train tracks, or roads. Bridge can be huge structures spanning miles or simple beams crossing a stream. But all have three basic parts. A deck, like this one. The support, like this one. And the structure. And do you recognize this bridge over here? It's actually the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And it is a suspension bridge. This is what this kind of bridge is called. So remember when you're building your own bridges, you have to make a deck and a support and a structure for the bridge to work, all right? And I'm gonna tell you some of the types of the bridges. Many factors affect the type of bridge used. Engineers consider the span length, the cost, and the looks. Two types of bridges you often see are first one, the truss bridges, and second one, the suspension bridges. You might also see spin bridges or arched bridges. And what other kind of bridges can you find? So this one, can you have a guess what kind of bridges this is? Yeah, this is the arch bridges, which is one of the most common bridge design in the world. So if you're thinking about building the truss bridges, the truss bridges are made from small pieces of metal connected together to form the triangles. So you can test the bridge like this. This is one of the way to make a bridge. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an example of a truss bridges which will look something like this. You see the deck and the support, which is the truss on the top. And this is the Bridge of the Gods. It's actually in Cascade Locks, Oregon, USA. Or you can build a suspension bridge, which is kind of like this one. The suspension bridges can span farther than simple beam bridges. And you can see that the cables actually hold the weight of the deck or it will be like this, it won't work, but with the support, it can work. And another example of the suspension bridge, this one looks like this. You can see the deck, the support, and the structures over here. And this one is the St. John's Bridge in Portland, Oregon. And another kind of easier suspension bridge will look something like this. Um, this one is the Capilano Suspension Bridge in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So this one is much easier than the one you see before. It's actually for the people to walk on it. And it's a very simple structure, just like this. And an example of, can you guess what this bridge is? Yes, that's right. It's the arched bridge. You can see there are so many arches here. This is the Yakina Bay Bridge in Newport, Oregon. And you can see also the deck, but the structure and the support they have are the arches over here. 
And the other things I'm gonna tell you about is abutments and piers. It's easy to see many parts of a bridge, but just as important are the parts you don't see. To carry their massive loads, bridges need to be anchored firmly to the ground. Their ends sit on concrete abutments, which is the part over here, the very beginning of the bridge and the very end of the bridge. These abutments are buried deep into the ground. They anchor a bridge's weight to rock layers below. And now I'm gonna tell you about the piers. Some bridges can span from one side of a river to the other, but often bridges need middle supports. These piers go through the water and mud to rest on the rock layers far below the riverbed. Piers are tricky to build. Sometimes workers build a steel box in the river. They pump out all the water and go inside to build piers. Other times piers are drilled from barges. So you can see these are the piers. And this is a kind of arch bridges. Okay, now you know all your basic knowledge. It's time for us to build it. And now finally we can start making your designs and building your bridges. Okay, so the challenge is, again, let me remind you to build a bridge that can hold as many candies as you can. And we actually have a time limit. I'm gonna give you 25 minutes to build a bridge. You can build a bridge as long as you want, as tall as you want. But remember, the challenge is that we want to see how many candies you can hold. And I'm gonna bring you closer and you can see the bridge I make and you can start making your own as well. Or you want to pause the video and make your own bridge, that is fine too. And you can come back and take a look of what I make, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna start with making the back of my bridges. So I'm gonna use these sticks I find in the library. And I'm gonna use the pipe cleaners to connect them together. So remember, you can make any designs that you want, but there's a time limit, so let's keep that in mind. Okay, now I have the side of the bridge is ready. I'm gonna to just test to see if I can hold them with the clothes pins I prepared. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay, then I'm gonna continue making the deck of the bridge with the help of some Q-tips. So I'm good, just gonna line them up like this. And I will need more pipe cleaners to tie them. But you can do any designs that you want, all right? And if you don't think the pipe cleaners can tie as tight as you want, you can use some tapes to do it as well. So I'm just, just gonna repeat the steps so that I can have the Q-tips across my deck. Okay, now I think I'm finished with my deck. You can see that I have two sticks across and then many Q-tips over here. And I think this can hold many candies already. Um, I'm good with the design here. I'm now I'm gonna use the clothespins to be the structure of the bridge. And let's see if this will work. I have no idea, but we will see. Okay, I think it's working. I'm gonna put the very last one and just do a little bit of adjustment here. And voila, I have my bridge ready. Now is the big reveal moment. How many candies I can hold here? I have some lollipops, candy cans, some whoppers, and a lot of little candies here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna see how many lollipops I can hold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I think that's about it. So I think you can easily beat me on this. Let me know how many candies you can hold with your designs. And if you want to share your designs with me, you can reply to our Facebook page as well. And this is what I made, the bridge I make that can hold 13 lollipops. And that's it for today. My name is Miss Yvonne. I will see you next time. Bye.